I call Gail Ross to be followed by Alison Johnson. Ms Ross, please. Thank you, President Officer. I'd also like to warmly welcome you and everyone else to their new roles. Presiding Officer, I'm going to begin in the same way as many of my fellow new MSPs have done, by firstly thanking the people of Caithness, Sutherland and Ross. You have placed your trust in me and I will not let you down. You have told me about the main issues in your areas, in your communities and in your lives. I thank you for your openness and for your hospitality and I want to reassure everyone in my constituency that I have been elected to represent every single one of you and that is exactly what I intend to do. I would also like to pay tribute to my predecessor, Rob Gibson. Rob remains an unrelenting advocate for the far north and a tireless campaigner for Scottish independence. I know that he is missed in this parliament. As convener of the Iraqi committee, Rob helped drive the land reform agenda that is going to be vital in my constituency and indeed throughout Scotland. People have often told me that his are big shoes to fill, and yes, they are, more than two and a half times the size of mine. <laughs> but while I am not Rob Gibson, and while I will tread my own path in my own stilettos, I have no doubt that Rob will be treading softly alongside me all the way. Thank you, Rob. I learned from Rob that one of the privileges of being a member of this chamber is the opportunity to bring issues to greater attention and seek common ground across the chamber to make change. Our NHS is a remarkable institution and its staff provide care each and every day from our first day to our last. I was proud to be elected on a manifesto committed to implementing the new £100 million cancer strategy to better prevent, detect, treat and care for those affected by cancer. Presiding officer, on the 5th of September 2001, a man by the name of Raymond MacDonald died in Aberdeen Royal Infirmary. He left behind him a wife, four children, four grandchildren, countless friends, and a small town in Caithness, much poorer for his passing. He was 65 years old and hadn't even enjoyed a full year of the retirement he had worked so hard for. Raymond MacDonald, was my dad, and he was taken by a brain tumour. Fast forward eight years and 32-year-old Mark Toshney had just returned from a holiday in Calgary when he felt ill on the flight home. He had four seizures and was put into a controlled coma in intensive care in Aberdeen Royal Infirmary, and after seven days was diagnosed with a grade three brain tumour. He spent eight hours in surgery to remove a golf ball-sized mass from his brain. Mark survived, but the tumour was cancerous and Mark spent the next six months undergoing intensive chemotherapy and radiotherapy. His wife, Carlin, created a fundraising group to raise funds for brain tumour research because while it's a leading cancer killer of men under 35, women under 40 and children under two, it receives only 2% of the funding raised through cancer charities. She has dedicated her life to this, running marathons, half marathons, 10Ks, Tough Mudders, organising charity balls, and perhaps her most famous of all fundraising efforts, the 2011 and 2012 Bear All for Brain Tumours calendar. And this turned out to be a great source of amusement at my party vetting in 2011. Unfortunately, John Finney is not in the chamber, but he was at the vetting and he might ask you about it if you ask, he might tell you about it if you ask him nicely. Carlin truly is a remarkably driven and compassionate individual. But for Mark, although classified as terminal, and although he still has 10% of the tumour left in his brain, he is for now cancer free. So why does she do it? Because Mark still has to go for scans every six months. Because there is always the worry that the cancer will come back. And if so, it is guaranteed to be aggressive. Because they have a six-year-old son that needs his dad because she feels as if she has to do something. Early diagnosis of brain tumours is difficult and they are often initially misdiagnosed. Some people are treated for migraines, others for depression or stress. Early diagnosis could increase chances of survival hugely, depending on where the tumour is sighted. Mark was lucky. 
To date, Carlin and her many helpers have raised over £130,000 through her charities, Bear All for Brain Tumours and Friends of the Neural Ward, ARI. She is an inspiration and she deserves to be heard. Presiding officer, earlier this year, she and others took the message to Westminster and now I am helping her take the message to Holyrood. And through the new cancer strategy, I look forward to working with the government and others across this chamber to explore what more we can do. In conclusion, presiding officer, for me, a fairer Scotland is one where everyone has a fighting chance if they fall ill, where your disease is adequately researched in our world-class facilities and where everyone can continue to have access to the world-class treatments our hospitals and our excellent staff can provide. Thank you. Thank you.